Hello, uh, this is Colin. Uh, at the moment, I'm drinking Buckingham Palace tea. Very nice blend um, I get from uh, Kitsilano, place in Kitsilano. But today, and I promise this will be the last time, I once again want to talk about one's favorite tea, Lipton's. If you've watched the other Lipton's episodes, you'll understand that I do not care for Lipton's. Um, it's not a very good tea, even by the low standards of teas you can buy everywhere. I mean, Red Rose is one of those Canadian bog standard teas that you can buy everywhere, but you know, it's still a pretty good tea. Quite robust, really. But Lipton's, God, I hate Lipton's. But I want to be fair, and uh, one of my uh, viewers actually uh, found online an actual use for Lipton's tea. Apparently, it makes for a good hair rinse. Now, I, I watched a few videos on, on YouTube of women um, showing, uh, demonstrating how it's done, and, and they're all, they're all African American, so I, I guess it's something to do with natural tea, uh, hair, which, which I, I, that's the impression I got. But yes, they uh, use tea, and um, I mean, apparently there's all kinds of benefits of tea for the hair. I, I don't know if it'll work on any on Caucasian hair. It doesn't. They don't really cover that. But um, apparently, black tea, often Lipton's, uh, is used for uh, let's see blocks DHT hormone, which slows the hair growth. Uh, reduces shedding and breakage, stimulates growth with the caffeine, uh, darkens and thickens hair strands. I don't know if any of this is true. I mean, I'm not a scientist or a beautician or anything, but according to these women on the internet, that's what it does. And this is one woman in particular had this um, formula, which was um, brew up some uh, Lipton's black tea and rosemary tea and rosemary tea apparently also reduces breakage and shedding stimulates prevents premature aging gives the hair a little shine uh, reduces gray um so she would brew up the rosemary and the black tea and then add coconut oil which also adds to the shine and and then put it in a little spritzer bottle and you know, all over the head and you, you can tell I'm not much of a hair expert I just shave it out of the way personally and put a hair net over it and and after a while you take it off and the hair apparently is is much improved or so they say so there you go we found a good use for Lipton's tea just don't drink it apparently that is the real lesson uh, Lipton's tea wonderful for the hair just don't drink the bloody stuff.